Now, Paul, I only have a minute left, so I just hear right at the end, I want to say, first of all, thanks for realizing one of my dreams and having another Alexander Payne film with you in the main part. <clears throat> then also, I'm a huge Star Trek fan like you, and I couldn't help but notice that I've seen a lot of interviews where you've said that you really love playing a Klingon. As an actor, is there a science fiction story you'd like to see made, that you'd like to be in? You know, my dearest wish in the world as a child and until this moment was to be a Klingon. <laughs> you would make a great I Klingon. sort of play a Klingon on Billions, but I would love to play a Klingon. But I've never, I've never, for some reason, those jobs don't come to me. And now I dealt into, I have several different Klingon well, dictionaries. there you go. That's fantastic. And and I managed to translate, I'm not drinking any Merlot into Klingon. And if they want to drink Merlot, we're drinking Merlot. No, if anybody orders Merlot, I'm leaving. I am not drinking any Merlot. Can you do it for me? Or it's from, yeah, Merlot v. Telhudelbe. So for me to get to hear you play a Klingon for just one line. Merlot, would say it again. Sir, a Klingon bird of prey is decloaking off the port bow. What? The Klingon ship is hailing us. On screen. Melo vi terhudelbe. Can you translate it? I'm attempting to do so. Me I am not drinking any Merlo! What? Melo vi terhudelbe. I mean, that made my day. Did I say it right or did I, did I f it up in Klingon? Did I just offend every Klingon? I mean, that would be, that would be a danger. Yeah, it would be. Melo vi terhudelbe. Die. Awesome. Thank you so much, Paul. It was a pleasure. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Thank you.